You ready for it? Yeah, I've been ready for a long time. Um, I've been ready to fight for a world title my last three or four fights. I'm more than ready now. What about the weigh-in? You, you had your head right in his face and yeah. face to face. Well, a bit of tension, obviously. He's trying to keep us cool, but he looks scared. He looks scared to me. Did you really see that in him? Honestly, he looked, looked frightened. He looks, he looks in terrific shape, though. Yeah, he looks in good shape. I expected that. It's going to be a tough fight, but... And him being frightened could make him potentially more dangerous, but I'll be ready for whatever he has. What about the reception from the crowd here at the way in? Unbelievable. It, you know, there's a thousand plus people here, 1,200 maybe. It's uh, Most fighters don't even get this to their fight, so just for a way in, second to none. How much is that going to help you? You've made a promise now. Yeah, I've made a promise, so I intend to stick by it. I'm an honest man, so I intend to uh, keep them award. Now, what's the key? What's the key? Why are you going to win? The key is to be smart. I'm better than this guy in every department. If I if I be smart, I win the fight. We've seen you as a boxer. We've seen you also as a as an aggressor. Are you going to stop him, or is it going to be on the distance? I'm going to win. That's all. And if, if I have the power to stop him, I have the engine as well to go for 12 hard rounds. So whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. Good luck. Thanks, John. Good luck. Barry, it's close now. What's your yeah. feelings? I well, I'm. I'm excited. Uh, it's uh, you know a typical mad, passionate Belfast f uh, fans. Sixteen thousand people in this man-made arena, or self-purpose-built arena, outside the Titanic Quarter. It's a, it couldn't be a more iconic setting. Uh, and you know, Carl has just got to turn up and do the business. That's that's very important. We know Kiko's here to win. Uh, he may have a different attitude this time, but he's in tremendous shape. I can see that. I know he's worked hard, he's been sparring with Lee Selby, so he's in great condition. And uh, it's going to be a tremendous fight. It, the last one was a terrific fight, this one will be every bit as good. How nervous are you, Barry, because this must bring back all those fighting memories for you? That's a very good question, because at the end of all of this, despite the fact that I, obviously it's my company that's promoted, my son who's the promoter and, and my son is the trainer and my other son looks after Carl outside the ring, we sort of give him a 360 sort of package and, of care and attention. Uh, ultimately, and you know, we're, we're doing stuff all over the world, we're going to every market in the world. Uh, despite all of those negotiations, ultimately, I, I, when it boils down to it, I'm a fighter. So I, I get nervous like a fighter, I get all of the butterflies in the tummy, especially as he's so close to me and you know, he's like part of the family. So it's, uh, it, it isn't easy for me in that sense, but non nonetheless, it's, it's, uh, it's very exciting. It's just sort of a combination of excitement and adrenaline. And, uh, and obviously concern because uh, you know we don't want anything to go wrong, uh, you know, and we want the weather to be good. So so much to hope for, but um, uh, it's going to be fantastic. And, and I know Frampton is in incredible condition. And I've always said he's an incredible fighter, and he's going to do incredible things. And it starts tomorrow night. He says he can win, or I get the impression he's thinking he can win either as the boxer or as the fighter. He yeah. thinks he's superior in both counts. You have to be both. You have to use both tactics tomorrow night, and in equal in equal measure, and you'll have to know when to differentiate between one and the other. Um, that's the key to winning this fight: using his boxing ability, but winning the rounds, uh, keeping his, his his up on his toes, engaging his feet because he's great when he engages his feet, using his distance. It's all about control of distance and uh, not allowing Kiko to get close to him and not allowing him to pot shot on him. Just keep him on, off balance, not allow him to set, keep that left jab in his face, move his feet and then start to hunker down after about five, six rounds and start to really bite the canvas with his toes and hit with power. And that has to be done in equal measure, as you know, John, having commentated for, for 150 years. <laughs>